I think something that I really cherish is just being surrounded by like-minded people because the award actually you get is this inspiration which is super valuable. Right. Um we're going to move into our last segment of our episode. Ideally we've got the sporadic 10 questions. Um ideally they lighten up the mood is just to get you to get to know you as a guest um okay. before we tie it up and and end up we've got a few minutes left so yeah. So right, question number 1, you can answer first that comes to your mind. <laughs> It's a safe space. Right, cranberry or apple juice? Uh apple cranberry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your favorite song? Uh it's right now Imagine Dragons Believer. Wow, I actually don't know that song. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Question number three: f- What's your favorite uh, TV channel? Oh, I can I say Nat Geo? <laughs> Nat Geo. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Why? Why is it your favorite? Uh, I remember it's. I have like kind of stopped watching TV right now. Yeah. But uh, when I was growing up, uh, me and my father we used to watch a lot of uh, just animal shows. You know, just exactly. see lions and like yeah. it was just a great bonding even. Hey, actually, National Earth. Geographic, Discovery, the Animal Planet. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is so interesting. <laughs> right. Um, what are you most afraid of? Um, I'm really afraid of heights. So you know like if if I go really high uh I feel like somebody's going to push me but at the same time, <laughs> but at the same time it's not really true in when it comes to my career. Yeah. I like to be yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Question number 5 if you had to mention three people who you consider to be role models for you who would they be and why? Um I think one of like two of them are really like my parents so my mom she the the struggle she has been through and the the positivity she still has like you know if you stay with her she'll make you feel loved and she'll just give that positive energy still and i think that's that's an amazing ability to have even even though you've gone through so many challenges and i think yeah. that is that is what i see from her my father um he will he will basically he has this ability to even though I have nothing like when you look at like financial level if like it, he is right he would struggle but at the same time he has this ability to say okay this is not working in the government you know so being able to think big even if you're like you know like at like smaller spaces at like lowest self but still able to think big and uh, think like your thoughts matter i think that was he really taught me as i was growing up saying hey no matter where you th- no matter where you come from you can still think big so that is what i learned from him and third would be my grandmother so she was actually the first female teacher in her village and like in this male dominated school she would walk in and like teach science yeah. and i think that's super cool because right now she's old but like <laughs> she had this courage to be the first person to be the first woman and like just 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 inspire people to do that and right now there are so many female teachers it's been years but at the same time she was the first one to to um really challenge her obstacles and say okay i can do this and i can i really learn from her so these three people are have I really <laughs> So 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 to some extent I think I d- we, we all can now figure out where you get all of this from somewhere in the UK somewhere in the UK Right which is actually quite interesting to what you spoke about earlier on about knowing your roots and sticking to your roots like mm. it's actually quite interesting you learn so much from where you come yeah. from Right yeah. question number 6 if you could win any award what would it be and why Um I think um I think I would like to uh Oh my god this is so <laughs> You actually win this? You actually give me something after this? I think I would like to have um conversations. I think it's not an award but I think I think something that I really cherish is just being surrounded by like-minded people because the award actually you get is this inspiration which is super valuable this push that you get i remember the conversation i had with you at raise and i remember the conversation i had with all these people who are trying to bring change around the world and i think it's it's the energy that you get after that and you're like okay i also want to do something <laughs> yeah so, yeah that yeah wow what is your favorite cartoon character growing up 
Ooh, um, so back home we had uh, this cartoon called as uh, uh, Mion, and it's a super fun. It's like it, it, it was the only uh, car- cartoon that uh, could come in Nepali, so okay. Like, loved watching yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the nepali listeners will probably understand what you're talking about <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow um what's the name of your favorite movie Ooh, i recently oh okay so it would like since i'm like super um moved by social justice i, I enjoyed the parasite a lot i enjoyed the platform a lot yeah and also there's um, i think if I'm getting the name right, it's called Minari. So I think I'm really looking forward to watching that. Though I've never watched it, yeah. What did you eat for breakfast this morning? I actually haven't had my breakfast. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 but I'm going to an Indian restaurant. Yeah, but I'm going to an Indian restaurant for this one. Super Ooh, wow, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> A nice cuisine, good thing. Right, last question. Name two things that you have on your bucket list. Okay, so I want to travel a lot because it gives you exposure to uh, different communities and cultures and how how people have actually ended up being in the places that they have. And also just, just meeting a lot of people, you know, this one of the country, I don't exactly remember the name, but it has like a human library where people sit and they talk about their stories and you can actually go and talk to them. So you basically are like uh, accessing their stories and their life and it's not like big celebrities it's like people who have like common stories but at the same time the way you see it is really different I think I want to actually go to that country and be this is the sign up for the library and see what it actually feels uh, going there but yeah just signing up to um, the previous things I mentioned, like you can actually trade, take inspiration from anything, you know, it's just like how your vision, how you vision things and how you look into things, but everything can be so inspirational. It doesn't have to be something elite or something big all the time. Wow, great. Wow. Thank you so much.